best kept secret about medical school is all the free lunches we get. Pretty much three times a week, there's some kind of great lecture or activity, and you get free food with it. So that's always great. What is the best kept secret about medical school? Uh, my best kept secret is the Evansville campus for the first two years because you have small class sizes and it's just nice to have the personal touch. Something probably, that how, probably how great the, great the people are here. Like you sometimes come into medical school thinking you might come into like group of like nerds or geeks, but they're all they're all really like great people in their own right. And it's just it's interesting to see all these people come in, all the different people, and that, that's something that that we don't always you know always hear, don't always see. What is the best kept secret of medical school? Oh, Wishard's TCBY machine. <laughs> what is it? Um, it's the most delightful treat ever. Like especially like when you're on call. You just go down there and you just swirl it up and they have like sprinkles, you know. It can make any bad day good. <laughs> we hang out, watch sports, you know. I have time for the activities and interests I used to have, so. So it's not as hard as you thought? Not all the time. <laughs> it has its moments, but even when you're studying, I mean, you, you go home and, and study based on what you see in your patients. And so it just, even studying isn't as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> Um, the best kept secret about medical school is how much you actually get to do as a medical student, especially by the time you become a fourth year. You're making a lot of uh, decisions on your patients, and once you gain the confidence of your upper levels, they essentially just sign off on what you're doing, and you're essentially a doctor. And the best kept secret of medical school is the centers around the campus, which there's nine of them, um, including Indianapolis. They're really actually a great place to go. I know when I started off, I had originally hoped that I would be in Indianapolis, but I was in my, placed in Muncie, which was not my first pick or my second pick, but it turned out to be excellent. The doctors there were great. Um, and having a small class size, we had 20 students. You really got to know each other. You became friends. You found things to do outside of the class time, which is really important because you need to have a break outside of classroom time. And so I think personally, actually, if you really could get into a center, I think it's a great thing. One of the myths is that med students have no lives. Um, I'm friends with a lot of med students, and being a med student myself, I can say that that's a big myth. We definitely do have lives. Um, they're not as fulfilling or complete as maybe we'd like them to be, but we, uh, we all have hobbies. We all have fun. Um, we all make time for friends, for family.